duck diving is a technique used by surfers where you dive under the wave with your surfboard. It allows us to pass the white water and pass wave without spending too much energy. But duck diving is not easy, especially when you start surfing. So in this video we will show you the technique and teach you how to do a proper duck dive. First of all, you need to know that you cannot do a duck dive with every board. Surfboards with a lot of volume are very difficult to push underwater. Usually you want to do a duck dive with a small board. If your board is too big for a duck dive, like a long board or a soft top, you need to do a turtle roll to pass the break. We also have a tutorial where we teach you how to do a proper turtle roll, which you can watch here. There are also different types of duck dives. Duck diving big white water waves is more difficult because the energy of the broken wave goes straight towards you. It's a lot of energy to get through. You'll need to push the board harder underwater to get through it. Duck diving an unbroken wave is easier because the energy of the wave is not as strong yet. So when you're duck diving a wave that hasn't broken yet, it'll actually help you and pull you to the surface on the other side of the wave. So here is step by step how to do a proper duck dive. First, you have to paddle hard in the direction of the upcoming wave. Generating speed will allow you to get through it easier. It's impossible to duck dive a powerful whitewater wave without speed. You need to stop paddling and start the duck dive about 2 meters from the wave. To start duck diving, first grab your rails under your pectorals and push the nose of the surfboard underwater. You want to keep your arms straight to help you sink more of the board underwater. When the nose of the board is completely underwater, you want to push the tail of the board with your knee or your feet, depending on the power of the wave. Pushing the tail will help you sink the board deeper underwater and make it pass through the wave. You need to push the nose of the board first, but quickly after you need to push the tail of the board so it almost looks like a one single motion. When your surfboard is deep enough and parallel to the bottom, bend your arms and bring your body to the surfboard while the wave is passing over you, and then resurface. Common mistakes. If you start your duck dive too early, you'll get pulled back by the wave, and the wave will just push you back and wipe you out. Also, if you start too late, you won't be able to be parallel to the surface, and you'll then get pushed back as well. You need to start your duck dive about 2 meters from the upcoming wave. Don't be static. The most important is speed. You can't duck dive if you're static. So make sure that you generate speed before starting the duck dive. Also a good tip, practice your duck dive in a pool. Duck diving in a pool is harder since there is no power of any wave to pull you and the board underwater. If you're able to do a proper duck dive in a pool, it'll feel easier in the ocean. So take your time to practice your duck dive even when you are not surfing. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to dive deeper into learning how to surf, you can watch our other how to surf videos here on YouTube or book a stay at one of our surf camps. Our camps are located in beautiful surf destinations all over the world. From Costa Rica to Bali and Sri Lanka to Portugal and even Norway. We teach you how to surf in the most amazing destinations. Check out our website to book in the description down below.